Right, so in this part, there's again not much which physically changes this week. I've been busy putting those trackers in. We've done all but three. Um, one of those will have to be made from new and we've got two bushings which have come out. So one's on a roller and the other is on one of the eyelets um, on the roller board. So it's a bit of a pain to get to, but that's what's got to happen. And the other thing that happened is we've got one of two packets of the balance pin felt. So we've got enough to do with the bottom keyboard. I'm gonna take the top keyboard out right now and get that done. So as you can see, having taken the keyboard, top keyboard out, having taken the keys out of the bottom keyboard, I've been able to put those red felts on the balance pins in the middle there. So we bought these for the for piano use because it's cheaper than buying from the organ use. So we've got some left over, probably about 20 something, won't we? Because pianos are 88 notes and this organ's 56. So we'll put what we can on the top keyboard. So at least we'll be able to set properly the touch on those first keys. There's no point setting the touch on the rest because it's going to be different. So the next fun we've got is to put the second keyboard back. Now we've got touch on it. So we've got to overbalance the keys. Might not be heavy enough. You know what, it may be that we've got to take all the keys out. I wonder if it's catching on the on the bit underneath. Because you've got a register, haven't you, under here? I have to say I've never I don't recall having had a problem like this on any other organ. See if we can see what's causing the problem. Right, it's gone in by lifting these edges over the register at the back, so that idea of removing the first few keys. It's not, uh, not something I've come up against before. But I've only been doing this since 1980. Right, so I think the next thing to do is to sort out the broken, missing bushings. There's a thumper bar goes across here. Um, you'll see what that is in the future. But um, it stops when you press the key, it stops them doing that and bouncing upwards. It's a weighted piece of timber or it's, or it's a piece of steel or it's a piece of lead. We'll find out what it's like and it fits. There's one on the bottom keyboard we will be able to just uh, lift the keyboard up at the front, hopefully, and not have to take it out with all this faff again. So we've, I've put a little piece of silver tape there, so we know that's the last one which has got a red centre felt. So we'll try and set the touch up to that note. It's pointless doing it further or we won't know where we are. Right, so Mr. Chippy and I have now spent half an hour setting the action up to, I think it was middle C sharp, middle D, uh, which is where we'd run out of the red felts. Now there's a thumper bar to go on there, uh, and that just uh, will also help with the evenness. So ignore anything beyond middle D, and we have, we have actually got action on all notes. 
And we've, I've got the second stop on, which is the eight foot principal, which is like a violin diaphasin. There's a couple of whimpers, because the action's tight, we need to just sort that out. Um, there's a bushing out, and there's still two notes not in on the trackers. But other than that, this is where we've got to at this point. Now remember, these pipes are being cleaned, and the wooden ones are going to be totally out of tune because the pipe stoppers are in the top, uh, and so on. So I'm going to just kind of go over there, we'll just move the camcorder. And I'll get you to change the stops in there. you go. So here we are, we've got some notes. So how about the first few bars of Immortal Invisible? Now Mr. Steve, if you'd like to take that stop off, we'll swap it for the back one. Again, we've got the same wimpers. This starts at Tennessee. So a lot of notes need uh, working because the action's all new and stiff. Take that stop off, please. Take the blower off and we're getting there handsomely. So one bushing to do, two trackers to go in, and then we can start going around weather a bit too tight. Uh, and then when the red washers come, we'll do the rest of this uh, keyboard. We're not putting any stops in because obviously, if you've got all the rods going to the back, you can't get in and adjust the action. And so we'll shortly be, be moving our thoughts onto the grate to the bottom keyboard. So thank you for watching this part. I can't remember if it's 18 or 19, but we're certainly moving up. See you next time.